In this short video, we're going to see how to set up a new Rails 6 app. And before we begin, we are going to use RVM, which is Ruby Version Manager. And as you can see above, I have it installed already. And we already are using Rails version 6.00 beta 3. And as you can see from my terminal, I am using Ruby 2.6.3. Now to use Rails 6, we need to be using at least Ruby 2.5, but I found that if we install the latest version of Ruby, that it helps remove some of the issues you may experience when setting up a new app. By running gem list in the terminal, we can see all of the gems are already installed for this gem set. So as you can see here, we are using Rails 6.00 beta 3. So to kick things off here, we're going to, we're going to use the Rails new command. And we're going to create uh, a Rails blog with some options preset. We're going to use the database Postgres and we're going to skip turbo links, skip testing files, and just really focus on setting up a basic app here. So while that is installing now, it will be putting all these new files into a new directory called Rails blog, as we are using that for this example. Two of the big changes that we will see in Rails 6 is Action Mailbox and Action Text. And we'll try to cover those in future videos. And Rails 6 also includes Webpacker. Now that allows us to write modern JavaScript within Rails, so ES6. And that's something we'll see in terms of the front end that is quite different compared to the older Rails apps. Now when setting up a new Rails app, it generally does take a few minutes to get all of the dependencies installed. However, once you have that first installation done, things speed up a lot in terms of development. So now that we have the installation completed, um, the first thing we need to do is set up our database. And to do that, we will need to change directory into our new folder that we have set up. So our new Rails app is called Rails Blog. So let's open up that directory. And in here we can run Rails DB setup, and this will create our Postgres database. And once this setup has completed, now we can run the Rails DB migrate command, and this will set up our schema file. So now that the Rails migrate has completed, we can run the Rails server and check things out to make sure that we're running the right version. And we can see here that we're running Rails 6.00 RC2. So let's check this out in our browser. And yeah, we are on the new version of Rails. And we're running Ruby 2.6.3. So that's all looking very good. So now we can go ahead and open up the new file directory within our editor. So just in a new tab in Terminal, I'm going to run Atom and open up the current directory. And we can see now all the new files that have been created here for us. And our Ruby version here, just to confirm, is 2.6.3. And within the gem file also. And we are running 6.0.0 of Rails. And yeah, everything's looking pretty good here. We have Webpacker, which we haven't seen in Rails 5 before. And there are some new files in here, the yarn.log. So yarn is used for compiling the JavaScript and we have these dev dependencies for Webpacker. And we can see a babel.config file in here as well. So a lot of changes in terms of the JavaScript side of uh, Ruby on Rails. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys have found this useful and um, do let me know what you're building in Ruby on Rails 6. And I will see you guys in the next video.